brute force or exhaustive search algorithm is the exact pattern of finding algorithm. Uh, we call it as exhaustive search also because it is exhaustive because it tries for all possibilities so it searches everywhere so you are guaranteed uh, to get the occurrences of the patterns in the text if it is there but you have to search everywhere so you will be exhausted so that is why uh, it's exhaustive search algorithm uh, for the task with many possibilities um, brute force will take too much time it searches patterns by going through the whole sequence, nucleotide per nucleotides. Always shifts the window by exactly one position to the right in case um, if it gets a mismatch, it shifts to the right. And that requires to an expected, uh, like two times the length of the, of the string, uh, which is the T uh, and not the pattern here. So it, it um, actually does uh, these number of comparisons. So if your string size is, for example, four, it will make those eight comparisons. So in this way, it keeps on increasing as the length grows. So twice the length of the text, that is the complexity. Uh, when a mismatch occurs, a comparison stops and starts again by moving the pattern um, exactly one position forward. So here is our algorithm. So we have a function, brute force, two arguments, T, which is uh, our text. And the second one is P, which is a pattern. N records the length of T. And M records the length of P. And we start with a for loop. So that goes from 0 to N minus M. For example, we have M, which is of length 10. And this should go, uh, or, or N, uh, in this case, N is of length 10. Now we have P, which is of length 5, for example. So it will go from up till here. No more than that. So n minus m means we want to avoid this kind of situation, right? So it will go for the positions starting from zero to n minus m, which is in this case five. So it will compare till that position. So do if p uh, one through m is equal to t s plus one and through s plus m. So what we are saying here is we start with nucleotide number one of the pattern and we go up till its whole length and here we will take the first nucleotide in case of for the text uh, since we started with zero so we need to add one over here so it's zero plus one that is the first nucleotide is compared then up till uh, we will compare till the till the last nucleotide of that pattern so if we find the patterns occurrence of the pattern uh, we will put that here so we can say that pattern occurs at position s plus one since we are starting our loop with zero that's why it will be s plus one so uh, let's elaborate this uh, with this uh, example uh, we are uh, having a text that is uh, of length 14 uh, we are having a pattern of length six so we start with uh, aligning the first nucleotide of the pattern with the first nucleotide of the text so we see that everyone matches except the six character. So that six character actually mismatches. So we move one uh, character towards the right. And now we see that uh, first character actually mismatches. So we move further till our first uh, on the pattern matches to the third on the text. So if we look into the index, so that is actually uh, index number two since our loop is starting with zero. So please keep track of it. Then we see that the third character uh, again mismatches. Uh, the second in the pattern and the third, uh, the fourth actually in, in your text. So that is the second character mismatches. Uh, we keep on doing that and keep on moving the, the pattern one nucleotide ahead. So in the end, uh, we see that uh, we have found the exact uh, pattern which is matched. So it is matched at uh, index 7 and from position 7 onwards. So P is the substring of T. So that is present between 7 to 12. So as a result, uh, we found that sequence T uh, contains the pattern with 6 moves. Uh, so S is equal to 6. And uh, we conclude that the pattern P is inside T. 
at eighth position. The um, drawback of this approach is that uh, there is a repetitive use of residues uh, in comparison. So in this way, our complexity goes to O m into n. So that is uh, which makes it really slow. So it it is the multiple of uh, length of pattern versus the uh, length of your text. So in this case, um, your your complexity uh, is high. So brute force is an uh, exhaustive search method. Uh, which takes long uh, because it compares uh, each nucleotide with each of the pattern with each nucleotide on the text. Uh, 